Hello, and welcome to topic one of the Learning Alliance on Horizontal Accountability. This Learning Alliance is part of the ELA program and will be run by Austria and CPEC. The name of this topic is Introduction to Political Accountability, Definitions and Examples. In this topic, we will cover the origins of accountability, the definitions of the concept, the distinction between vertical and horizontal accountability, as well as some examples. Now, let's talk about the origins of the concept. Representative democracy is crucial to understanding the origins of accountability because the delegation of power from citizens to representatives is needed. The first expression of concern for accountability as we know it today is in the US 1987 Constitution. However, proto-mechanisms of accountability existed in Athenian politics, which included, for example, provisions for a mechanism similar to today's vote of confidence. But what form does accountability take today? Representative democracy has become the most popular form of government in the world. However, several institutional weaknesses keep affecting the quality of democracy. This is why one of the biggest challenges to improving the quality of democracy involves building more effective accountability mechanisms. But what is accountability? To make things simpler, we're going to focus only on political accountability that can be defined as the existence of formalized relationship of oversight and or sanctions of public officials by other actors. This involves the existence of an agent A that is legally obligated to answer and an agent B that has the right to impose sanctions on agent A. Guillermo O'Donnell broadened the definition of accountability by dividing it into vertical and horizontal accountability. Vertical accountability expresses the concern for the control, support and censorship carried out by the electorate through the popular vote as well as other actions taken by civil society to limit the actions of elected officials. This involves the voters, the media, and civil society organizations. Horizontal accountability is concerned with state agencies that are legally enabled and empowered, as well as factually willing and able, to take action in relation to unlawful actions or omissions by other agencies. This may include routine oversight, criminal sanctions, impeachment, as well as other mechanisms. In this Learning Alliance, we're going to focus on horizontal accountability. Horizontal accountability has two main connotations, answerability and enforceability. Answerability is the obligation of public officials to report on what they are doing. Enforceability, on the other hand, is the ability of controlling institutions to effectively control and or impose sanctions. There is consensus that the performance of horizontal accountability mechanisms in Latin America and Africa is weak. Knowing the reasons behind this performance is key to designing better accountability mechanisms. As you will see in more depth in the summary note, many countries in the world share similar accountability mechanisms. However, this doesn't mean that they all perform in the same way. And now it is your turn. We invite you to have a look at these questions and to answer them in the comments below. In this way, we will foster discussion and learn from each other's experience. Created using Powtoon.